Who is responsible for Taiwan's defense? Part 94 The Mexican-American War ABCD chart for Alta California We will now do a general overview of an ABCD chart for Alta California. This overview will concentrate on points in time and periods of time. In order to present the viewer with the entirety of all modern laws of war concepts, below we will also add relevant commentary from the 1907 Hague Regulations, HR, and 1949 Geneva Convention 4, GC4. Point A. January 12, 1847. Surrender ceremonies, end of hostilities, beginning of United States military government jurisdiction. Point A to point B. January 12, 1847 to May 30, 1848. There are different stages of military occupation, and point A to point B marks the belligerent occupation of the entire territory. Point B to point C. May 30, 1848 to December 20, 1849. Point B to point C marks the friendly occupation of the territory. Another name for this is the civil affairs administration of a military government. Point A to point C. January 12, 1847 to December 20, 1849. The period of military occupation is from point A to point C. The territory may be said to be in interim status under the laws of occupation. Point B. May 30, 1848. The peace treaty comes into force, and the cession of territory is effectuated. Hence, point B is the point of cession. Alta California was ceded to the United States in this treaty. Hence, the U.S. Commander-in-Chief knows that the final status for this area, after the period of military occupation, will be as United States territory with its own civil government. Before it has reached that status however, the residents are still subject to a military governance structure under the authority of a military governor. Obviously, the military governor is appointed, and not elected. Additionally, under the customary laws of warfare, various restrictions are in place, regarding what activities can be conducted in occupied territory. In the modern era, the Hague Regulations and the Geneva Conventions 4, contain many such specifications. Point C. December 20, 1849. A recognized civil government for California began functioning on this date. Point C marks the end of the military government of the principal occupying power. Military government must be supplanted by some other legal arrangement typically the establishment of a local civil government, in order for the territory to reach a final political status. Area D. The California civil government supplanted USMG jurisdiction in California. California was thus recognized as an incorporated U.S. territory, with its own civil government. Note, before 1898, all territorial areas in North America, coming under USA jurisdiction, were incorporated by default. In modern terms, this means that they were considered to be on their way to statehood. With the formation of a local civil government in California, USMG has ended, and hence the military occupation has ended. The analysis in the ABCD chart clearly shows us the beginning and ending dates of the military occupation. Note. Although not directly related to the analysis in this ABCD chart, it is notable that California became the 31st state of the Union on September 9, 1850.